what is going on guys, Carlos here from Everything Tech and in this video we're going to remove the FRP on a Galaxy S7 Edge on Android 8. So I'm just showing you exactly what you need to do or just showing you that there's an account in there. It is my account but uh, I'm just showing you that I wouldn't be able to go any further uh, if it wasn't my account or if, uh, if say you buy a phone and it's got somebody else's details. Uh, this is an easy way to remove those details and get the phone up and running or if you forget your own password so let's put the phone in download mode and that's uh, power volume down and home button and once we get into download mode or we get to the warning screen we need to press another button in order to get into download mode which is volume up so you've got the warning screen now and then uh, it's warning you about mm, custom kernels and custom things so just press up volume and as you can see FRP lock is on and we are on a Galaxy S7 Edge, which is the G935F, which is the European version. So if, you, if you've if you got the American version, please don't do this. Don't use the tools that I that I provide. So let's get it into, to find out what, what uh, firmware we got. Let's get it back onto the reset button, like the warning screen. And as soon as you see that the screen's gone off, press the volume button up. Uh, press the power button and press the home button at the same time to get into recovery. You might have to release the buttons and repress them again if you see the battery symbol. So once uh, you see the logo, release the, vo the power button or the phone will restart again. And you'll see installing system update and you see a little Android and then you're going to see an Android having issues uh, or <laughs> you know on, the, on its side uh, with some problems like that. Uh, so no command so just wait a little bit until it gets into recovery mode so we can find out exactly what firmware is installed on the device and uh, we get the right firmware in this case it's just literally for you to find out what firmware you have on the device uh, so in here as you can see G935 FXX S2 firmware so binary 2 firmware the other numbers don't 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 matter as long as it's G935 F, XX, S2 or U2, they both, uh, the, 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 this guide will, will work for both. If your phone is on S1 or A1, update it to the latest firmware, which I've provided uh, as a link below. Play, update it first and then follow this guide. So we've gone back onto uh, download mode and now it's time to go onto the computer and install the firmware 7. So we need to install Android 7 in order to use the tools provided. So launch your Odin and uh, we're going to go and uh, install firmware 7, which I also provided below. This is the XEU firmware, which is um, United Kingdom and Northern Ireland. Uh, this will work for European phones only. It won't work for um, phones from other countries, variants from other countries. So install your uh, seven by uh, loading your bootloader BL onto BL and then on IP we're gonna load the IP and this one that, I, that I'm providing is only this firmware 7 is only for phones that have the, the binary 2 installed the firmware S2 or U2 installed if yours is, is got a S1 or a U1 you need to install U2 or S2 which is the latest firmware the latest firmware is using binary 2 uh, of August uh, 2018. If your phone has got one, just install the firmware that I provide, the full firmware 8 that I provide, and um, install this one afterwards uh, because this one won't work on binary 1. Uh, so now we're waiting for this AP to load and um, once it's loaded, like right now, we loaded CP and we load CSC. So let's install this. I sped up most of this part what it's installing because it takes a very long time and you really don't need to see that. Uh, this, this will work if you do it exactly like I, like I said and if you're using the right firmware for your device this will work fine uh, as of August 2018 like I said. Uh, so I've sped up this part where it's installing and then once it's finishing installing, we need to wait for it to um, to boot 
over to the desktop or over to where the icons are you still won't be able to get in you will still tell you that frp is still on you won't be able to do anything but uh, you will uh, you will have firmware 7 installed which is uh, easier to exploit than firmware 8 or android 8 so I uh, sped up again most of this part in here in order to speed up the process because this takes quite a bit of time. These phones are getting older now, they're three generations behind so they, they take up quite a bit of time to install the latest software iterations. So um, once you see this Samsung, uh, then you, when your buttons light up it's an indication that the, the software is uh, really near its end to the booting process. Um, so let's just wait a little bit and see. So installing applications and uh, it's on firmware 7 now. So if we go uh, to start, it will still ask you for um, it will still ask you for the for the uh, FRP. So don't try it. Just go directly onto download mode, which is volume down, power and home button, and then click up. Uh, volume up in order to get into download mode so in this section here we're gonna install uh, an, a, the um, FRP bypass or F FRP ADB for firmware 7 you won't be able to do this if you're on firmware 8 because it won't work so just load it onto the AP I've provided that on, as a link below as well load it into AP and click start uh, and in this part here is, is a bit tricky uh, see how you get on uh, your mileage might vary um, if you see that it's going on to uh, Android or uh, like this Samsung thing in here and it gets stuck what you need to do uh, I waited quite a bit of time to for these uh, but it wasn't going any further it's not a problem everything is still okay you don't need to reinstall anything all you need to do is um, go back into a recovery mode so click on uh, volume down uh, power button and uh, home button and as you see as you can see like volume down power button and home button when when the Samsung when the screen goes dark completely and the light goes off just quickly press volume up and keep holding the other two buttons until you see that the phone is restarting uh, again so volume up, power button and home button. Once the phone is restarting again, release the home, the power button. Release the power button in order for it to go into, you might have to uh, release your fingers and, re and press them again if you see the battery symbol charging. So as soon as you see this logo here, release the power button and you will go into that blue mode, into the recovery mode. So once it goes into the recovery mode, we need to um, erase the settings or erase uh, factory reset, but do not erase the cache. Erase only factory reset, do not erase the cache. The cache has got stuff in there that we need. So um, let's wait for this Android man to disappear. So as you can see, you have to go down. So we are. On, I'm showing you that we are on Android 7 now. So go down to wipe data factory reset. Do not wipe cache partition. Do not do that. So press the power button and then select yes by volume down button and then press again the power button to select. Once that's done, then you're gonna press the power button to reboot the phone again. I know this takes a little bit of time, but uh, it's better to do it properly than to mess it up and having to do everything back up again. So now just leave the phone alone for a little while and uh, we're gonna go into yeah we just have to wait a little bit until the phone starts booting I sped up this part of the video as well because it was taking a very long time and I'm trying to keep these videos under 10 minutes but I'm, I'm not being very successful with that uh, they always go after the, the 10 minutes but if I cut too much then the problem is you just won't get it and then you shout in the in the comments saying that uh, I've missed parts of the video. So once you get to this area here, installing applications, uh, what you're going to do is uh, I, I went, I press start and to go any f a little bit further, and he comes up with a message again that you still got your FRP there. Don't worry, everything is gone according to plan. 
we've got the ADB settings installed you can't go any further so let's go back on the computer and now it's time to um, launch the FRP bypass so right click on FRP bypass uh, and select run as administrator and you know I like to run this a few times uh, if you've watched some of my other videos but in this uh, uh, circumstances there's no need to run it a few times you don't need to install anything so let's go back to the phone and see if it worked if your phone crashes and you can see the sidebar with the black screen that means that it's worked so uh, now it's time to uh, do the same thing go back into recovery mode because you won't be able to do anything I did try to access the home screen and sometimes I've tried this three or four times and sometimes it works like by restarting only it will work and you you can access the home screen but in this case I couldn't do it so it, it was good that it actually happened like this because now I can explain to you uh, you know the symptoms of what what's happening to the phone and uh, what you need to do to get it out of this mode so as you can see I can see the desktop but as soon as I swipe everything goes black again and I can't see anything I can't access my um, my home screen but the good news is that uh, FRP has now been removed so this is the reason why it's like this because it messed up the, the the lock the FRP lock itself so I did try to get it back a few times in other times that I've tried this method it worked just fine by uh, swiping the screen and uh, it will crash goes into a black screen but then it comes back and you can bypass everything that way this way th this time it didn't work uh, so now we're gonna go back uh, turn the phone off uh, press the power button and um, and uh, switch uh, switch off and then uh, once the phone is off a uh, volume up button power button and home button again to get into recovery and as soon as you see the Samsung logo release the power button the same thing now we're gonna go back into um, the the recovery menu and we're gonna delete everything on the phone again so we're gonna go and factory data reset do not release the, the delete the cache yet. The reason why is that if it didn't work, then you can just go back and use the FRP bypass. So wipe data, factory reset only. Volume down to select yes, and then power button again to delete everything. Then you're gonna press the power button one more time to reboot the phone. Uh, we can reinstall uh, uh, Android 8 after this, but you know, while you're making sure that uh, that uh, the FIP bypass worked, uh, just make sure first before you go and delete the cache partition, and then you delete the the FRP, um, the the ADB seven or uh, the ADB enabler for for Android seven, and then you're going to have to reinstall all of that again and go through the same process. Uh, luckily, on this. This, uh, this time it just worked perfectly so it started on uh, on at the beginning I've deleted everything on the phone so it's uh, restarted everything and you can just bypass you don't need to connect to Wi-Fi or you don't need to um, to install anything else so the last thing that we need to do uh, is going to be to as, as you can see accessibility is now on so click on start and uh, it won't give you that message anymore because every uh, all the FRP elements have been crashed and removed so you can just go next without connecting to Wi-Fi. Um, so the last thing that I didn't include in this video because I didn't want to make it even bigger, and it's quite easy to do because I've provided links below. So you just you can just go into Woden and install um, Android 8 that I've provided uh, below, and like that you'll get the phone in the latest firmware. If you need to go into recovery and uh, erase, um, uh, delete everything plus cache. Uh, completely delete everything on the phone because everything has been erased and removed so you don't need to to worry about it coming back so I'm just going through the prompt to show you that I can get into the desktop and um, everything is, uh, is as it should be without FRP there are more videos to come I've got uh, two or three more videos with all the latest phones one including the S7 which the process is slightly different um, and I've got um, another one with the S9 but that that phone hasn't reached me yet so I won't be able to do it just yet um, but there are some more phones in the way so don't worry because this is going to be a sort of a series that I've planned on doing quite for quite some time because I do this all the time 
and uh, uh, why not record it and, and share it so everybody knows what to do. It might take a little uh, bit of uh, time to load the icons. It's, it will be slow because it's, it's just finished uh, uh, resetting. But as you can see, uh, once it picks up and once everything is loaded into cache, it will be, it will be working just fine. So uh, I guess this is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video or if this video helped you, please give us a like and please consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon so you can get notified every time I release a new video. So I guess this is it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.